please note that I was sent this camera to provide an honest and unbiased review. The Geek Pro 2.0 camera, truly a leader in the price to performance category. This camera comes loaded with accessories right from the beginning. Inside the case, we find countless mounting pieces, along with an extra battery, a waterproof case, some straps, tethers, instruction manuals, a lens cloth, a USB cable, and a charger. Let's start with the outside of the camera. The backside is quite simple, showing only a screen and some small text. On the front, we see the lens, the power slash mode button, a status indicator, and charging status lights. Moving to the sides, we find the speaker and the Wi-Fi button, and on the other side, there's a micro SD slot, mini HDMI output, and a micro USB port. On the top, there's the shutter and select button, and the bottom contains only an access port for the battery. The controls on this camera are quite intuitive, although it may take a few minutes to figure them out. I've rarely found the need to read instructions, and this camera was a no exception. Once I figured out what each button did, it was quite easy to navigate the menus. To turn the camera on, simply press the power button on the front. To turn it off, just hold down the same button until the camera shuts down. The camera has many different modes, which can be navigated by pressing the power slash mode button. The modes will then cycle through starting with video, then going to photo, burst photo, time lapse, video, and photo playback, and then finally settings. To select a certain setting, press the power slash mode button to select the proper option, and then press the select button to select it. The Wi-Fi button on the side acts as a back button in the settings menu. The camera can record in either 1080p 30 frames per second or 720p 60 frames per second. This is some test footage I got from the camera while having it strapped to my head in the 1080p 30 frames per second mode. I also got my hands on a similar camera and decided to test them side by side. I mounted both to the handlebars of my bike. Let's take a look at the footage. In my personal opinion, I like the way that the Geek Pro camera handles color balance better than the other camera. The midtones are more red, which gives for a warmer feel overall. In conclusion, Geek Pro offers an incredible deal here, and anyone in the market for a sports or action camera should look no further.